What is up guys? Welcome back to Fishing with Norby. Super exciting video coming at you today. My wife surprised me with my very own fish tank. I've been talking about it for a while. This is going to be a Fishing with Norby channel fish tank. And we're gonna be putting fish we catch in there. This 75 gallons is actually pretty good sized. That's me sitting next to it. So we got us a giant fish tank. And she went ahead and put colors that match my boat in the fish tank, white and red rocks. So we're gonna be spicing this tank up, gonna be putting in some cool rocks we find out at the lake and such. Just got to be careful to wash them and stuff so the tank doesn't get like ick in it or anything like that that kills fish. Growing up I had a fish tank and I had crawdads and, and all sorts of fish in there but the fish were never fish I caught. It was always fish from the pet store and just little little uh, catfish and sharks and whatnot. But this tank is gonna be legit. We'll probably end up putting some crawdads in it uh, at some point. Might even put a bluegill or a crappie in it. But the main thing I'm excited to put in it in today's video, we're stocking it with our very own largemouth bass. So that is the goal of today's video. Stocking this fish tank with a pet largemouth bass. Super excited. So what we're gonna do here, we are going to take a bucket, a Ned rig. We're gonna go over to the venue and I'm gonna try and catch one real quick to throw in here. And then you're gonna have to help me name it. And I'm excited. We're gonna put that fish in there. We're gonna be feeding him. We're gonna get him all fat. We're gonna measure him and weigh him and see how much he grows over the course of a year or two. I'm excited. So. With that being said, let's get out, go fishing, catch us a pet bass. Let's go. Okay. Got my bucket. We catch one. Just gonna throw a little Ned rig at him. I see a few tiny, tiny bass over here. They are next to this inlet. Some water flowing in, so we're gonna try it. Try and toss it over to him and see. That bait might be too big. Little Ned rig might be too big for the fish we're going after. But we're gonna try it out. I forgot to tell you guys you can get the Sakoshi Bug and Ned Rig set up at Carl's Bait and Tackle. They have some amazing deals going on right now on their website before Christmas to 40% off on items. Click the link below, go check it out. Get you some fish catching baits. One looking at it. There's one. Oh, he let go. Ooh, there's a bigger one coming. Oh my gosh. I got, I got one that's way too big for the tank. <laughs> In the venue pond. Check it out. That's hilarious. Two pounder. We're going after little guys, and I catch a two-pounder. We're going to toss them in on this side so I don't spook everything. That's funny. That's crazy. Wow. <laughs> I saw him go for it, and I was like, oh, yeah. Not the one we're after, but good one for sure. Using the little Sakoshi bug. I got the weed guards on this Ned rig. A lot of stumps and stuff down here. Oh, I see these two bass. They're probably a little big too. Got one. Ooh, I think we can keep him. That's a tank fish right there. He's skinny, really skinny. He's probably about eight inches long. We'll measure him. Um, I'm gonna keep fishing see if I catch a smaller one here <laughs> But I'm gonna go ahead and fill this bucket up with some water He might just be our tank fish I'm gonna have to name him if so I'm gonna ask you guys what we should name him But Let's go ahead and get us some water first. This water is super clear Wow Okay, we got him. Cold spring water coming into this pond. 
I'd like to get one that's about six inches. Let's keep going here. Little Ned rigs are perfect catching fish. Numbers, all sizes. Linking it down below in case you want to try it out. This hook clutch for not getting stuck. Link down below. All right. All right, bass, you're going home. That is the one. Woo, all right. We got him home, there he is. He's about eight inches, I think. We're gonna measure him here real quick. I'm gonna get my measuring board. Got my Ego ruler here, also got the weigh scale. Let's grab him real quick. He is feisty. Hope he doesn't jump out of this tank. <laughs> Good thing it's all enclosed. He's got like a mark on his back. Um, I'm gonna ask you guys to drop a comment down below what you think we should name him. Pretty cool little bass. He was m way more vibrant when I took him out of the pond. He's got a black spot on his lip right there. Kinda neat. All right, he is, mouth closed, he is nine and a quarter inches. Nine and a quarter. All right, that's awesome, I'm excited. We're gonna throw them in here. I'm gonna weigh them real quick. Zero and outer scale here. There we go. All right, let's get him. Come here, buddy. Okay. That is a tiny bass to put on this scale. He is 0.30, 30 hundredths. Okay. Let's dump him in. I'm super excited. So nine and a quarter inches and he weighs 0 0.3. <laughs> All right, he's going in the tank right now. Here we go. Woo, there he goes. Check him out, he's trying to figure it out. He's got a lot of figuring out to do. We gotta get him some cover in there. It's gonna be sweet. Look at that spot on him. I like that spot, that's cool. That's a beautiful fish. Nine and a quarter inches. All right, he's gonna figure out this tank. He's gonna be getting used to us hand feeding him. Hope you're excited for that. And we're gonna see how the bass reacts to certain food. You always say, or hear that they feed up. So I bet he's gonna feed up most of the time. They obviously feed down some when you got a worm on the bottom. Uh, I'm excited, he's a unique fish. Unique largemouth bass straight out of the Sweet Springs Trophy Pond. Look at that. He's getting used to it already. So we got a big filter in there for him. Plenty of air coming in, oxygen coming into the water. Show you what it looks like with the light shut off in here. Looks pretty sweet. There we go. Look at that. So. The light also has two color options. We can stick a UV on there. We can test out UV baits down on the rocks right there. But at night, we can turn that UV light on, let him sleep. He's gonna have to get used to it though. I don't know if he's gonna eat for, uh, I don't know. We'll see how long it takes him to eat. But I'm gonna flip this light back on real quick. There we go. Old tackle wall, you guys have seen it. But I'm excited. Oh, look at that. His colors came out already. Look at that. That's so cool. His colors were gone, and now he is vibrant. That black line is so dark. He was literally so pale just a minute ago, and now he's super vibrant. That's awesome. So drop me a comment down below. You got a good name for him. We're gonna be naming him in one of the next upcoming videos. And it might just be uh, something you guys drop down in the comments. Might let you guys name him. So, that being said, we're going to get out of here. God bless you guys. We're going to catch you on the next episode of Fishing with Norby.